Here with the winner of the APIS Canberra International, Matthew Epton. Congratulations. Thank you. No, I appreciate it. Good match today. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's tricky. I mean, the finals. It was a little bit breezy out there. Taro's quality player. He's been top hundred player. You know what you're going to get with him. He's he's very solid. He's going to run. He's going to fight. He's going to put a lot of pressure on you. He's he's made you know a few finals now in the last few weeks. So he's playing well. I knew I had to uh, execute my game pretty well today and. Uh, that was key. I did it, you know, nearly most of the match, or you know, a good part of the match, and that, that's what got me through. Tara hasn't dropped a set coming into the final today. How did you prepare for that today? Have you played him recently? Um, no, I mean, I've never really played him. I played him. Well, I was drawn to play him one time, but I was sick, had to withdraw. So yeah, we didn't really get to play each other ever. But I've seen him around the last few years on the tour and that, and I know he's, you know, he's a, he's a great competitor. He's very solid, you know, for, especially from the baseline, but. You know, I knew I had to stay aggressive, uh, execute my game plan of, of what I what I needed to do the way, the way I needed to play, and kind of stuck to that for the most part. And when I did it, I got myself in a little bit of trouble here or there, but you know, I forced myself to, to stay aggressive with it, and uh, yeah, paid off in the end. And it's, yeah, it's really nice, obviously, to win here at home. You've had a great rebuilding year. You're bordering on the, the edge of the top hundred once again. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a tough year in a lot of ways, but good in a lot of ways. You know, yeah, last year was frustrating because I basically got myself back to top hundred at the start of that year. I had no points to defend for about four months, and then I got the got an, got an injury, and that kept me out basically most of the season. Um, so yeah, I had had a protected ranking for the first six months of this year, but my real ranking was basically zero. I had no points, so. Yeah, everything I've got now. I had to, you know, start from from the beginning of this year. I had to qualify every tournament, just about. Um, and yeah, but you know, I stuck stuck with it. Stuck with with what we were trying to do. I played um, mainly a full tour schedule. I didn't, you know, I played a few challenges in between here and there. But you know, I knew my level was good. I started playing well in January, February, and I made quarterfinals in Memphis. Started winning the matches in the in the tour events and made my first final in. In July, I think, in, in Newport and the tour event. So that was that was great. Um, then just yeah, just kicked on from there, kept going, and just kept pushing to try to be a bit of a better player and and uh, improve. So yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. What's your plans for the rest of this year and the start of 2018? Yeah, so straight away tomorrow, I head up to Japan. Uh, I've got at least another couple of weeks up there. Um, so yeah, just just recover, focus for those, try and try and finish the, the year as best I can, and see how I can push up on the rankings, basically. And uh, yeah, pr just get things set for next year and work on my game, my body, ranking as well, I suppose. And uh, and yeah, it'll be it's always an unbelievable time for us coming back at the end of the season, being home in Australia, where the weather gets good. Um, you know, December and January is coming, so Australian summer is nothing better in the world. So look forward to that. We saw you out on centre court after the final signing, lots of autographs with ball kids and spectators. How have you enjoyed coming back to Canberra? Yeah, I've been, been here a few times now and I've been here oh, probably it's the last 10 years since AIS. came here when I was quite a bit younger and uh, yeah, you know, I appreciate all the, the support from all the crowd but all the ball kids and the help from all the staff, all the, all the everyone. Um, you know, especially being out last year, you start to appreciate the little things a bit more. Um, just being back, able to play the events I want to play, just all the little things you start to, I guess, care a lot for more for everyone, all, you know, all people, even the kids, and you know they're as much a part of the the tournament and the final as I am even, and uh, so that's yeah, it's just those little things you start to appreciate and try and uh, make it a good time for everybody. Safe travels and good luck in Kobe, the winner of the APIS Canberra International, Matthew. Thanks, yeah.